the king, the king of kings. On your knees, dog. <laughs> Hey guys, how to be brown here? How you guys doing? Ah, <sighs> it's been a good couple of weeks since I last uploaded. I mean, I know I did that stream, so that was officially my my coming back party after taking such a hiatus. Still getting Final Fantasy VI edited for the next episode. I get Alex Shannon's lines, and then we can get to it. So, get to it, brother. But here we are. You know what time it is. Hideo Kojima game. You also notice we're at the top of the uh, screen instead of on the corner like we usually are. There's a reason for that. It's something I should have learned last time. Ohio class nuclear the submarine nuclear weapons discovery. disposal facility on Shadow Moses Island in Alaska's Fox Archipelago was attacked and captured by next generation special forces being led by members of Foxhound. Good. Just sure the they are demanding that the government turn over the remains of Big Boss, and they say that if their demands are not met within 24 hours, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. Ooh, a nuclear weapon, so scary. Paul I'll Hyde. You might know him as Professor Hojo from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> you will have two mission objectives. First, you're to rescue DARPA Chief Donald Anderson and the President of Armstead, Kenneth Baker. Both are being held as hostages. Secondly, you're to investigate whether or not the terrorists have the ability to make a nuclear strike and stop them if they do. What's the insertion method? We'll approach the disposal facility by sub. And then? We'll launch a one-man SDV. We're in the GameCube version of this game too, by the way, because uh, better handling and controls, better uh, gameplay, better cutscenes too. <laughs> we a better quality of the PlayStation Better sound quality too. After the SDV gets as close as it can, dispose of it. From there on, you'll have to swim. Hopefully you guys watched the briefing High episode. High-tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit. And one that Who's I was the commander me? of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mantis with his powerful psychic abilities. Sniper Wolf the beautiful and deadly sharpshooter. Decoy Octopus, master of disguise. Vulcan Raven, giant and shaman. And Revolver Ocelot, specialist in interrogation and a formidable gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. All-star cast of characters. <laughs> Whoa. It's like he's trying his best to steer it, but it's not working out. The nuclear weapons, weapons disposal hours. facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As always, this is a one-man sneaking mission. Weapons and equipment OSP. Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. Sounds like a plan and a half to me.
David Hayter. Yep, the same one who played Naked Snake. Uh, here's the thing, though. Here's something cool about David Hayter. He wrote the original X-Men movie, the first one. The very first one that came out while I was still in high school. Damn, how old is that series now? Like, 15 years at least? Maybe 20? I, I don't know. I just know it's old. Like, really old. Let me know down in the comments below, please. I love murky water. Rats. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. Ooh. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Got a mullet. Maybe it's uh. See, this is why I put the screen up at the top. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. That should be when familiar. You use the codec, <laughs> push the pause button and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right, I'm playing this on normal difficulty too, so. I'm gonna get underwater real quick so we can get some items. Look right over here. Fashion. If you know me, I'm gonna start murdering everyone real soon. Just like in Metal Gear Solid 2, I've got a, uh, I've got a radar in the top right too. This also gives me a chance to check out the controls too, because I haven't played this game in years. Like, at least... GameCube came out a decade ago. This game came out in either 03 or 04. Manual. In fact, the Switch is coming out soon, so... Oh, there it goes, the Y button, okay. In fact, this is the first GameCube game I've touched in years. Oh, X button crouches. That didn't take long. Well, that didn't take long. Crap. Another ah. ration, good. What's up, Campbell? Snake, there's an elevator there you can take up to the ground. You'll just have to wait for the elevator to come down. You'd better hide somewhere. All right. Okay, that's how you do that. That's how you go into first person view.
I'll tighten your mom, bitch. Not to mention the difficulty in this game has also increased. Somewhat. <laughs> running again. Sweet dreams. Get up, you asshole. In I go. Talk about, uh, uh, talk about a crash course. Anyway, this game... I didn't even say when it came out. 2004, okay. Alright, guys. So we're starting our... Okay, I did part three. I did a portable ops for four episodes and I quit because of how fucked up it was. Like, I couldn't get it working right on the emulator. And nobody was enjoying it either. Like, maybe two people were. And I'm sorry, they weren't telling me. Uh, Peace Walker. That was fun. That, and then we did Metal Gear. Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. Now we're doing Metal Gear Solid 1. The Twin Snakes on GameCube. Original game and everything. This thing sells for a shit ton of money, too. If you can if you can, if you've still got it unopened. One of the few games that Silicon Knights came out with before, uh... I don't know what happened to him. I gotta look it up after this. If you know, go ahead and let me know in the comments that one don't have to. <laughs> of course, I'll probably do it while this is rendering. Well, actually, it's already rendered. I just gotta add the intro and the outro. But we're back to doing, uh... Yeah, members of Fox now. We're back to 70% cutscenes and 30% gameplay. <laughs> and 100% Hunter P. Brown cracking jokes all day long. Great snake, I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? Well, we're in Alaska. Russia's right next door, so... I have no idea, but it looks like our little diversion got their attention. It definitely looks like liquid. It's supposed to look just like solid snake. your best chance to slip in unnoticed. There are only 18 hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. All right. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. Well, Beats using that stupid Motorola. Nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. Remote walkie-talkie thing. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. 
I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. <laughs> He's still no, a complete flirt for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? <laughs> I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks He's like not frank. He's solid. About each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. What the hell? He should appear on your Hang radar. Hang on one second, guys. Dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Snake, your radar isn't affected by Check the Check it out, ladybug. But if you're discovered by an enemy, he won't hey, be able to little buddy. Use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Ooh, that's yes. a sign of good it's luck. It's all made from currently existing technology. I gotta cash this in, too. It's a, from Build-A-Bear Workshop. It's an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements <laughs> by cool. radar. So contact us These by are not harmful. anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. All right, cool. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here, and then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Ooh, I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. Wait, what? How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. What the f Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. He swallowed his pack of cigarettes and shat it at- What the f- What the fuck? Did he shit it out or puke it if up? You or... want to get in? Oh, there's fuck. the front door. I don't want to think about it. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. AKA AK forty sevens and uh, I can't see it and from uh, grenades. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you, Snake. All right. All right, let's see here. Okay, so that's how you roll. Gotta be very careful. If I walk in the snow, I'll leave snow, I'll leave uh, prints. Nobody here. Oh, I got a weapon. It's a SOCOM. Basic pistol. Gotta be careful though, this thing will make a lot of noise. A surveillance camera. Oh my. Hiding in lockers. There we go. Stun grenades. Cool. We always use these. Adios, sucker.
Wakey, wakey. Oh, there's a surveillance camera up there, too. Fuck that shit. Alright, let's see here. Oh, crap. Is there somebody there? Who's that? It's the enemy. I need to. Can it get up? Screw you guys, I'm out of here. In pursuit. This. Damn, I'm not even in the I'm not even in the first I'm only in the first part of the game. I'm already gonna get a fucking game over. Well, at least I stopped bleeding. I ain't got time to bleed. Oh wait, that's Duke Dukem that says that, not Solid Snake. <laughs> Just trying to get used to the controls is all. Can't go that way, I guess. Well, shit. Ah, there we go. Rats. They know where to go. Huh? Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's been a long time. Remember him Master, from Metal Gear 2? What are you doing here? Also, Kazuhiku Miller from so Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid 5. Quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. All right, cool. My frequency is 141.80. Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> don't worry, they can't hurt you. Good. Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Survival of the fittest. program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Radio. Come here, you little buggers. Oh, crap. Oh my goddamn O2 either. I'm gonna really use one just in case I fuck up, and knowing me, I will fuck up. Yeah, get out of here. Scat. Go. Shoot. Show me the way, brats. Can't go that way. elevator to change floors there should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there all right try to find it oh, I need a key card too bad this ain't Duke Nukem. Key card? I don't need no fucking key card. Huh? Was there a noise just now? Yeah, your mom. Who's there? What was that sound? Oh, 
Alright, thermal goggles. Ah! Oh! Ow! Up I down! Yeah. No, 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 get back! Oh, fuck me! I'm dead. There! Ow! Asshole! What is it? Snake, use the elevator to move from floor to floor. To call the elevator, press the button on the nearby control panel. Yes, that's great. Shut up. Over there? Hide under here. Really wish I knew which one the fucking action button is. Is it Y or what? Maybe I should have took more time and just practice before I started let's playing this, but no. I had to get right into it. Didn't give myself a little bit of room to work with. Jesus, what is wrong with me, guys? Seriously. Oh, it's Y button. That's the action button. Okay. Who's there? Oh, fuck me! Never mind. False alarm. Your mom's going on. How many moms have- how many mom jokes have I made today? What the fuck? What's wrong with me? Yeah. Look at the radar! It's picking up the DARPA chief! He's the green dot! Hurry and rescue him! Okay, cool! Just like Metal Gear 2. If you yes, that's great. Shut up. Up we go. Ah, all right. Through ventilation shafts, I am Solid Snake. The only thing that sucks is, look at how old this controller is, okay? I mean, it's got it's starting to get that yellow grain on it that comes with old age. And the thing that sucks about it is, well, it barely works, but I can get it, like, I can barely get it to work right to, with uh, sneaking around, if you catch my drift, so. And there's a close-up of Snake's butt. Ooh. Uh A woman, not him. That must be the that must be Meryl, the uh, the uh, Colonel's daughter, or, or the daughter's niece, or something like that. I don't know. Found him! Hey, Obama! Is this where Trump put you after you left office? Who? Who's that? 
I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? Oh, never mind. You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? If it's true, you don't look like one of them. You're damn right I don't case, look like one of them. Hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information about the terrorists. All right. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <coughs> Sweet Jesus. Now what's he freaking out for? Is it possible? It's possible. Fuck. They could launch a nuke. What the hell? Oh. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. What? They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. Oh, it's a conspiracy theory. We were Somebody call InfoWars. We have another conspiracy. Somebody let Occupy Democrats know there's a compute there's a conspiracy going on. A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the earth. A nuclear equipped walking battle tank. Wait, what? That sounds familiar. Metal Gear. It can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. I can so tell. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? You got nothing better to do with your I life? I heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown If you remember those plans that Metal in Metal Gear Solid 3 that Grannon had, we were going look to use familiar? this exercise as raw data. And then proceed to That's kind of one reason I wanted to let's play Metal Gear Solid 3 and Metal Gear Peace Walker first. Playing them in order, yeah, but uh well, yearly order, if that is. For the revolution. Uh but uh Revolution. You know, it's to it's to catch the little things. Especially when we get to Metal Gear Solid 4. Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex. Metal Gear Rex. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They're probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Watch out! Hey, shut up in there, will ya? Good ducking skills. Now that is what you call some dexterity. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. Yes, of course. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. Okay. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... What? What happened? They found out my password. Wait, what? You talked. Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Oh. Psycho Mantis. That sounds a little familiar, right? From Metal Gear Solid 5 when I was let's play in that last powers. year. I promise you guys I will finish that game. This is bad. 
Gonna let's play all these it's games, and then once it's all done, we're gonna resume. We're gonna get back on Metal Gear Solid if Five. Find out I'll have to start a new password. game. That's something that sucks. Yes, they'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. Oh, what? The card keys. Card keys. Card keys. They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes. You can stop the launch. Cool. That card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen. You need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guards say they moved him into an area that has a lot of electronic jamming. Oh, great. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances but didn't have enough time to paint them. All right. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Looks like I'll need some bombs then. Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? Cool. It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door's security devices, they'll read the data stored in the card. And the doors will open automatically. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What? What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So... Does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? Wait, why is he asking these questions? Wait, what? What is it? What? Looks like he's having a heart attack. Why? That look, he's getting strangled. Hey, what happened? Hey, you got a problem. Uh, that <laughs> Freeze frame it at the right moment, and you got your next Brazzers roll go meme. <laughs> Nice going, Snake. It looks like Obama's dead now. That's fucked up. <laughs> huh. Dead. Well, he sure as shit ain't sleeping, Sherlock. Let me call up Roy. Can I get a body bag, please? Naomi, the chief. What happened? I... Uh, I don't know. It looked like a heart attack, but... A heart Why attack? Why is she acting strangely no. all of a sudden? Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in huh? charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. All right. T 
Tea bag. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sick man, Hunter P. Can I take a dump? Let's probably use a ration because I know what's coming up. What is this? Actually, the rumble in this doesn't work anymore, which sucks. Ooh. Hot mama. Hot diggity. Did I just say hot diggity? What the fuck? Okay. What the? Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Uh, did you just strip that guy and take his clothes? Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> Well, she's definitely good at uh, disarming. Oh, stalemate. Can you shoot me, rookie? Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. Uh -oh. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Yeah. Why? Why? So we can never get mind the Why does he have a card? Can he just use that to get the hell out? Uh, oh, never mind. What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. It's killing time. <laughs> Damn it, get up. Oh! I think I'm gonna die, guys. There we go. Now what? Snake, what do you do? No shit, Sherlock! Try to get some ammo! Guys, I think I'm dead. <laughs> Shit! I suck at this game now. Fuck my life. Well, round two. Ding ding. Bye, guys. I keep. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Don't talk to me like a rookie! Dude, shoot him! I'm telling you, shoot! There you go! That's a good way to fuck you, old man. Oh, he's dead. And he's dead too. Next! Oh, good. Glad that glitched. Oh, God! Ration. Good. Yum, 
mess. Come at me, bitches. Like I said, I haven't played this game in years, and I haven't held a Genki controller in just as long, so... <laughs> Thanks for getting used to, because, you know, you're used to Wiimotes now, and uh, Xbox controllers, and... I mean, look at these two. These things are like aliens to each other, just about. I don't Thanks get it. Thanks for the help. Wait! Thank God the Switch is going back to its roots. Hopefully no more... I'm gonna be honest, no more motion crap, please. What the Who hell? Who are you? I mean, I like it, don't get me wrong, I prefer controllers all. Whoa. That looks familiar. You fool! You've killed him! Wait, what? I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very strong. I could not dive into his mind. Uh Why am I watching this no, movie? We'll scene? never get that detonation code. What even is it? Huh? Boss, I have a good idea. This is confusing, guys. What's going on? Like I know I'm no a little sleep deprived, but what the hell's happening? Yeah! Damn, hold your gun sideways, girl. You sure you're a rookie? Of course, now I'm getting shot at while doing some Matrix shit. Woo! Hello, boobs. Bye-bye. Didn't I say that in the Bobo's Big Adventure? Whoa. Eh? Good girl. Yeah, he definitely looks familiar. Just like that. Whoa. That's trippy. Uh, Snake, I think we're gonna need some psychological testing after this. Naomi, I just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So, so what, what was, was it? it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. Mental so feedback loop? That was Mantis. So did I look into his mind or something? Or was he trying to tell me something? Whoop. <laughs> Wasted a bullet. Um, I'm just gonna let you sleep. There we go. Well, shit, I could have used that earlier. See, another reason I wanted to play the Twin Snakes version is I don't have to re I don't have to equip my key cards to use them. Anyway, um. I'm gonna go ahead and stop now because I've got enough uh, footage for the first episode. You called Snake? Yep. Let's save. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Yes, create a new save file. Save complete. Snake, remember what De Gaulle said. The graveyards are full of indispensable men. Snake, you're all alone and surrounded by bad guys. Try to be careful and avoid getting into a fight whenever you can. You're right. Wow, you know all sorts of great quotes, don't you? <laughs> well, both my parents are from Guangdong, China, but I was born and raised in America. I've always liked reading literature from both sides. Kinda keeps me in touch. I'll share some more quotes with you if you like. I'm looking forward to it. But to tell you the truth, I'd like to learn more about you. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> Alright guys, I will see y'all in the next episode. Something I should bring up though, in the Twin Snakes they got new voice actors for uh, Naomi and Mei Ling. Uh, Naomi had an English accent, Mei Ling of course had a Chinese accent. 
Uh, but they got new actors for this, or they got rid of them, or something. I, I don't know. They, they did something with them, and it, were, it, it wasn't working out, so they got someone else, or something. I, I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next episode, though. Later, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Your knees.